Take a look at this data that I'm working with. It has all the rows stacked one below the other. I know that by just looking at the data, that four rows here make one single row. So this is the name of the person, this is the city of the person, the age of the person, and the phone number of that person. And I would want four different columns for that. Now, I would want this data to be transformed into something like this, which is where I have the name, the city, the age, and the phone number. How do I do that? Now, there are several methods which are there in Power Query that allow you for this kind of transformation. I'm going to discuss the M approach to solving this particular problem, which is going to be smarter, faster, and more efficient. No further ado, let's do this together. To begin with, I'd like to spend one quick minute to explain you how do we do this using the user interface of Power Query and then how do we make it more efficient using the M code. Take a look, I have loaded the data in, in here and I first add an index which is nothing but accounting. Then I insert a modulo which is nothing but dividing this particular number that I have by a certain number. Now in this scenario, I'm dividing it by four because I know that this row is going to be a pair of four rows. So this is first column, second column, third column, fourth column. That's one row. Then again, first column, second column, third column, fourth column. That's another row. So I divide that by four and I get these numbers right here. Now I make a subtraction and I get uh, zeros all out here, fours all out here, eights all out here. Now this zero is nothing but the first row of the data, the second row of the data, the third row of the data, so on and so forth. Now I removed a couple of columns and then what I do is I do a pivot. Now you can see that at the moment I have both the row identifier and the column identifier. This is the first row, the second row, the third row. This is the first column, the second column, the third column, the fourth column. Again, the first column, the second column, the third column, the fourth column, so on and so forth. Now, once we have got the row and the column identifier, what I can do is I can apply a pivot and you have pivot in Power Query and the data gets pivoted. Now, I can just get rid of the junk uh, column right here, get rid of the junk headers and I have cleaned my data. Now, this is a longer approach wherein you use the user interface. You don't write any piece of M code, but I'm going to show you that if you just are wanting to write just a little bit of M code, it becomes simple and fast in Power Query. All right, let's just start to solve this problem using the M code together. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this table, a single column, uh, at the moment, it's a table, but I would like to convert this into a list. So I'm going to go over to the advanced editor and start writing some M code together. Let's just increase the size a bit. I'm going to put a comma right here and start to create that this is nothing but a list bucket, B-U-C-K-E-T. And I'm going to say, hey, from the source table, I would like to extract the data column. Uh, that is pretty good. And I'm going to maybe just call out the list bucket that I have created. There's an equals to sign here, and that's good to go. Now I'm going to press enter and this converts that into a list. Now, the thing that I'm going to do here is that I at the moment have the entire list. I'm going to bucket this into four. So this four becomes one list, the first four items, the next four items becomes another list, the next four items become another list and so on and so forth. How do I do that? Simple function called list dot split, which is where I'm going to maybe take this particular list and split this into buckets of four. Once I do that and press enter, I'm going to get multiple lists. Every single list is going to have four items. So you can see that four items here, four items here, four items here, so on and so forth. All right, as a next step, the lists that I have received, which are all of these lists, I need to convert every single item of the list into like a record. So what is Iris? Iris is nothing but the name of the person. Hong Kong is the city. 33 is the age. And this is the phone number. So I need to have the value as well as the column header. But once I have the values and the column headers, then we would call that particular item as a record because a record is an item which can contain the value as well as the column headers. So I would want to convert all of these values into something called as a record. How do I do that? I'm going to maybe make a new step right here and call that step as list.transform. I'm trying to work with this particular list, which is right here. And in every single list, I want to take that list and every single item of that list is going to be nothing but a record. So I'm going to say record dot from list and I'm just going to maybe write an underscore right here. And then it asks you, hey, what is the list of the columns that you have, which is nothing but fields. And I've already copied the list of the columns, which is name, city, age and phone number. Just missed out the writing the each keyword here and then we are just good to go. Now, if I just close the bracket and press enter, you can see that every single list item got converted into a record, which is nothing but a column. 
like a row of the data but then four columns of that row so name is cecilia city is new york age is 42 and the phone number is this nice now from all of these records i'm just going to simply combine these records into a single table but let's just first name this particular step making a new step right here which is where i'm going to use a simple function table dot from records and i am just going to maybe say list to records the previous step and that's pretty much it once i click on ok uh, commit to the formula you can see that now the entire table has been drawn from the records that i had and that's my full table now this has been done in merely three steps one was source of course and that is definitely more faster more efficient and more sleeker method of solving the same problem all right that's been it let me know if you have any questions on this one i'll be glad to reply please put down your questions in the comments in the end a big shout out about my dax and my power query training courses in case you're a beginner and you are struggling with learning DAX, data modeling, and Power Query in a structured way, and then even solving more difficult problems, even of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be super awesome. Thanks so much for sticking all around, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye now.